Hello everyone and welcome back to the math puzzle crash course. I have another algebra problem with two variables. We have two equations and two variables and we want to solve for x and y. Uh, the first equation is x plus y equals 7. Uh, the second equation is x minus y equals 1 and we want to solve for x and y. So there's different approaches that we could take uh, that are all valid, uh, as long as we get the same answer. Uh, you could pick an equation and isolate one of the variables and then substitute uh, in the other equation. Um, another option would be to add the two equations together. Um, the second approach works pretty well here. So if we add up x plus y equals 7, x minus y equals 1, uh, x plus x is 2x, uh, plus y and minus y uh, comes out to 0. Um, so we're just left with a 2x on the left, and 7 plus 1 is 8. So 2x equals 8. Uh, we can further simplify, divide both sides of the equation by 2, leaving us x equals 4. Uh, now if we go look at the second equation, um, and we substitute 4, we substitute x for the constant of 4, you're going to have 4 minus y equals 1. Uh, we can subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. That leaves us with a minus y equals minus 3. Um, then if you multiply both sides of the equation by minus 1, uh, minus y times minus 1 is y. And on the right side, minus 3 times minus 1 gives us a positive 3. So we're left with y equals 3. So x is 4 and y equals 3. Um, another way we could have approached it would be to solve for x from the first equation and then substitute that result into the second equation to then solve for y. So we, if we have x plus y equals 7, um, we can subtract y from both sides of the equation. That gives us x equals 7 minus y. Uh, then, if we look at our second equation, we can substitute what we had for x. So, the second equation was x minus y equals 1. Substituting for x, we have 7 minus y. That's what x is. Uh, minus y again. Uh, because that's in our second equation. So 7 minus y minus y equals 1. Uh, and what does that become? Well, minus y minus y is minus 2y. So 7 minus 2y equals 1. Now from here we can subtract 7 from both sides of our equation, which leaves us with minus 2y equals minus 6. Uh, now, from here, we can divide on both sides of the equation, divide by 2 on both sides. So, uh, minus 2y divided by 2 is minus y. Minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So, minus y equals minus 3. And again, here, we can multiply both sides of our equation by minus 1, which gives us y equals 3. Now we can go back to uh, we know that um, we know that three, y is equal to three now, so we could go back to our first equation, which we had with x plus y equals seven. Substitute a three for the y, giving us x plus three equals seven. And then from here we can subtract three on both sides of our equation, and that gives us x equals four. So um, I hope I didn't go too fast for anyone here. If I did, uh, I'm, I apologize, but uh, you, you can rewind and, and uh, watch that again if there's a part of it that uh, maybe was a little, little troublesome. The big thing is to remember that whatever you do on one side of an equation, you have to do it on the other side, you know, to keep things equal. You know, that if you want to keep everybody happy, uh, you got to make sure, you know, you're giving you know, one person five cookies, you better give the other person five cookies on the other side. Otherwise, they won't, it won't be equal, right? 
uh, you can look at it that way. So um, I, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll probably have a few more algebra puzzles to throw in here as well um, in, in the future. But uh, the Math Puzzle Crash Course is on YouTube and Facebook as well. So please check those out. Um, feel free to like, uh, share, subscribe. Uh, those are those are all helpful things that help me out with the channel. And um, I hope, that, again, this has been a helpful video, and I thank you for your time. Have a great day.